Hey, I'm Fire, and I play a lot of Outlaster. Like, a lot of Outlaster. Okay, not that much, I take showers here and there, but still, it's like the only game that I play anymore. And it's sort of like Total Drama Island or Survivor for anybody who watches that, where two teams are trapped on an island and vote off a member of their own tribe until only one person's left to win a million dollars. Uh, guys, quick question. What do you do whenever one of your teammates is God? Do I repent for my sins now or later? Also, theoretically, what would happen if one of our team members was a Satanist. You know what, we're getting off topic, I'll talk about this later. Welcome to Roblox in a Nutshell, where I teach you about all the different types of people you'll find playing Outlaster. Dear God, I hope you're not one of them. Let's get started. The first thing you'll notice when playing Outlaster is that everyone wants to be the captain. To start off, both teams pick a leader and begin building their tribes, however, it's sort of a lost cause because being captain offers no real advantage to the game. Unless someone's strategically picking their teammates, but let's be honest, these people just want to feel important. Which I totally get, I mean, why else do you think I'm a YouTuber? I'm basically addicted to validation. I mean, hey, between being ignored on Grindr Tinder by my own parents, I totally get what it's like to need some love and affection. You know what, on second thought, maybe I do want to be the leader. Hey, pick me too! Uh, hold on, this room is purr at me? Anyway, that brings me to my next point. The second most important thing about Atlaster is that, dear god, women rule the world and don't you forget it. Look y'all, it's 2021, time to dismantle the patriarchy along with capitalism and the bourgeoisie. Alright, don't quote me on this, but I have on good authority that women were actually scientifically engineered to be absolute gods in this game. Because you see, women excrete a pheromone called Penguinone, and it acts as a secret bonding agent between other women who are the only species on earth that can actually detect the pheromone. Yes, even over the internet, don't ask questions, I'm a scientist. The women then decide, under the cover of Moonlight, in rituals called the Bumpin' Bahingos of Babylon, which boy to sacrifice at the next tribal council. Also, they all dress like this. This is entirely true, I'm telling you, I'm a scientist. In fact, this is such common knowledge even your own mother will tell you. Go ahead and ask her what Penguinone is. These women are mean, and will do everything in their power to bully you into submission. I can offer you no advice other than good luck, and I hope you find a whole bunch of hidden immunity idols. Which, by the way, let's talk about hidden immunity idols. Alright, so let me tell you a story. A long time ago, this game used to be called Survivor. And it was a great game, but low-key not low-key. Kind of a direct violation of the United States copyright laws and didn't really fall under fair use. In response, Daddy CBS decided to send a takedown notice to the owners. Which basically says, oopsies, you did a no-no, give me your soul. But the owners really liked having their souls, so they just remade the game from the ground up. And changed a whole bunch of names about everything in the process. Long story short, these aren't called hidden immunity idols anymore, they're advantages. Either way, they serve the same purpose. They're super useful tools hidden around the islands that you can literally find and save your life if you get them. Safety advantages, if played correctly, can nullify all votes against you during Tribal Council. What I like to do when I'm up against people I really hate is purposely lose a challenge and then tell everyone to vote me. And I really lay into it too. Look guys, if you don't vote me off, I'll literally strangle one of you in your sleep. Looking at you, Timmy. Once I'm sure everyone's voting me off, I'll play my idol just before votes are read. Haha, <laughs> you fools! You thought you could vote me out? How stupid are you? You. you told us to. Shut up, Timmy, I'm a scientist. Sorry, Timmy, add me as a friend, we'll play again later. But you see, here's a catch. There's only so many advantages in each game, leading somebody to ask, well, what do I do once I'm out of advantages? Luckily for you, I have just the solution to your problem. So I've given you a ton of really useful tips so far, but you're almost certainly asking, how do you win Outlaster? Well, that's easy, do what I do. Begin half-jokingly weaponizing your sexuality so that people feel like they're not being inclusive enough when they consider voting you off. Bonus points if you're wearing a ton of Pride apparel from the catalog. Wow, you're voting me? Hmm, I don't know, dude. Kind of homophobic. Um, isn't it a little unethical to be using your orientation to gain an upper hand in life? You should be more focused on fighting for true equality. Wait a second, you're right. All my life I've been bullied, mistreated, and struggled with crippling anxiety. I have so many insecurities that I think it's made me a little bit of a toxic person today. That being said, uh, it feels good to finally be winning at something, so uh, tough break, Straighty. So 
So, you've followed my tips and have undoubtedly found yourself at the final three. Congratulations. From this point on, you don't compete in challenges. You don't vote anyone else off the island. No. Because in a cruel twist of fate, it's time for the people you sent home to decide who becomes the winner. These people are called the jury vote, and they're normally a little pissed off that you made it farther in the game than they did. Meaning that even if you've played the perfect game, you still have a pretty good chance of losing because of a spiteful jury member. You don't want to make it this far just to lose now. You're above that. So it's time for a lesson in pathos. Pathos equals appealing to emotion. Or something, I don't know, trust me, I have a doctorate in psychology. If you've made it to the final three and you think you're gonna lose, just prey on people's emotions to win. Lie about a sad story that happened in your life to kind of convince people into voting for you to win. Something like, you know, I don't usually play this card, but I have AIDS. And bam, just like that, easy win. And I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, hey, wow, you're kind of an awful person. In which case, I just want to be fair and correct you in saying that I'm not an awful person. I'm an awful winner. Yeah, baby. Oh, rain that confetti on me, queen. Yes. So that's basically Outlaster in a nutshell. Listen, in all honesty, you probably shouldn't follow this video's rules. Um, People might think you're a sociopath, and that's not good. Still, what did we learn today? One, that women and gays rule the game, and you stand no chance against them. Please, don't try. Two, it doesn't matter how well you do in the game, because a jury vote will usually crown whoever they like most, regardless of your skill. And finally, subscribing to Fire and telling everyone to watch this video increases your chances of winning by 70%. Uh, that's not even a joke, it's actually coded into the game. Anyway, as always, have a lovely day. Bye bye.